Okay, well, another beach, but this one is a lot more rocky. So I guess I got to talk about the situational disability that is going on and around video games. Um, yeah, the, the, the train I'm walking on is absolute rocks. This is a good beach, Lawrence Town Beach, I believe is where I'm at. But recently there was a uh, situation that's kind of blown up online where a person is talking about situationable disability when it comes to playing Elden Ring because they cannot pause the game while watching their two-year-old. Long-term disabilities, there are situational disabilities, there are temporary disabilities. It counts as a disability where a video game like Elden Ring is concerned if you have a kid. You know what, I, I have a seven-year-old, I have a kid. He is, uh, he is classified as disabled currently, but he will grow out of it. It's all situational at this point. Uh, he just needs to grow a little bit and then that'll all go away. But that, that does mean that I have to take time to watch things and he's got to be closely supervised. And that means I don't play Elden Ring while I'm watching him. It's, if you're playing Elden Ring and you have a kid, you have to realize that you're playing a game that's a Dark Souls. Not having a pause menu in that game, you have to accept that your death is just part of the game. That, that's what happens with it all the time. Now, in, you can see in this rocky situation, we've got waves coming in everywhere. Okay, I, these rocks are not fun. This is not the best beach to walk on, that's for sure. Uh, usually when the tide is out, it's a lot more easier. But of course, we ended up here uh, midday, tide's in, the waves are high, everything's going crazy. Um, and everyone's swimming. So, you know, the swimming part of it, yeah, that's great. But not so much of the situational disability. It's absolutely ridiculous to even talk about this. Microsoft put out a, uh, a whole template on this. Where if you're a person that's a bartender, they have situational disability by using the shaker. You know what? That's what we call in the industry a hazard. You are a hazard to yourself creating that type of noise. And if that's the case, those types of hazards, you don't want to have that hazard out there. Especially if you're trying to play Elden Ring, having to put the game down. If you're playing it in a dangerous situation like that... No, you gotta, like I said, you gotta accept the deaths of the game. That's how you get through the game. And if you have to put it down and die, then that's what happens. That's why they don't have a pause button. It doesn't make sense to even have a pause button in the game. With the amount that they allow you to move on and you get, you get good at the game to be able to uh, move along and with the graces that you have in there, the I believe the... The whole purpose of it is to get through an area without having the distractions outside the world, without having the distractions in it. And that's the whole reason why deaths happen in Elden Ring. It's not because you have to sit there and watch a kid. If you're playing Elden Ring and your little two-year-old is running around putting forks in light sockets or something like that, come on, come on. Are you really paying attention to that kid? At that point, you're endangering the kid. Right, you've got to know when to put the game down, and that's part of the addictive nature of uh, of video games in general. Okay, okay, we had to come back to our regular spot to continue this because the situational disability I was dealing with was impossible to walk on those rocks. And you know what? Let's let's take care of one more right now. I'm going to put on my sunglasses because it is very bright with the sun shining in my face as well. I guess I'm blinded by the light, thus I can't drive or have that situational disability. Now, calling them situational disabilities does not change the matter that these are hazards that you have to deal with on everyday basis. You have something like watching your kid and you want to play Elden Ring. Well, you can't play Elden Ring. Your kid takes your responsibility. You had that kid. Now you need to own up and take care of them. And that's where video games go to the wayside. That's why you don't see me playing video games 
every day, all days. I go to work. I support my family. I do everything possible for my family, for my kid. And video games is my leisure activity. It is my entertainment when I want to unwind and do something more. And you know what? I am very blessed by everyone that comes to this channel and supports me during the live streams by having that support during the live streams. Now I know things are great in that matter. When it comes to what we're calling a situational disability in this case, in majority cases where like distracted driving or a bartender making noise or randomly you know, somehow you've broken your arm or a finger or something like that, those are things that will heal. They take time. And those are not exactly situational disabilities because if you have a broken arm, during that time, you actually have a disability. You sometimes can't drive if your foot's broken. That is at that point, a disability in which case are recognized by law. And then you can usually get like a disability placard for your vehicle. If you can't even walk normally, these are things that do happen in life. And at least those ones are ones you get over. They're temporary disabilities, not situational. And when it comes to playing Elden Ring, not having a pause button. Well, you know what? You got to sit there and, and take the lumps with it. That, that's the whole purpose of playing Elden Ring and getting through the, the bad things that happen in Elden Ring. Your character dies. But like I was trying to say earlier, there's usually a grace nearby or a way to re a respawn that's usually not too far off of. So you don't generally lose a lot of progress in the game for a single death. Look at most of the bosses. Most of the bosses you're expected to die two, three, four, five times to and continue that trend. But it's you try and try again. If you have to put down the game so you can watch your child then you're taking your responsibilities to the utmost level that you should be doing at that point. By sitting there and saying you have a situational disability being distracted, in my line of work, a distraction can kill me. I'm an electrician. If someone distracts me in my line of work, which is not that easy to really do because you got to maintain focus on a lot of things and when you're dealing with electricity in the invisible force that you just can't see you need to be on your game and that is one of the reasons why I what I do I do to my utmost best I can in my line of work but in Elden Ring I it's a game it's not a situation where you should be claiming a disability because they don't have a pause button that, unfortunately, that's the tough knock of Elden Ring from software or a Dark Souls style game. You got to live with the, with the death. You got to move on from it. And majority of people do. So by sitting there and saying you have a situational disability, this whole idea that Microsoft is pushing this out, I get it. There's a point of matter where they need to justify people missing work for their kid uh, so you don't get fired or, you, you know, it's something that they can write down uh, in the books and write off those man hours that are lost time at that point because your kid is sick, your kid breaks a leg, you've got to attend your kid's soccer game. Those are things in a decent company culture that are going to do well in the long run. They're going to prop things up and then you are able to take care of your kid and do what you need to that is necessary. But sitting there and saying you have a situational disability when it's in fact a hazard on health and life and limb, you're just making an excuse for something that is going to be very poorly taken in the long run. You might as well just go and drink a six pack, get behind the wheel and drive drunk because that's a situational disability at this point as well. And I do not approve of something like that. Ignoring your responsibilities in life is not acceptable. It 100% not acceptable and calling it a situational disability. I'm a parent and I find this exactly and unequivocally insulting to those that do have disabilities like myself and like my kid. It's absolutely not the way to go about pushing more accessibility in video games, saying you need a pause button because you need to take care of your kid. 
No, you need to put the game down and take care of your kid. That's how things get done in life. That's how kids get raised properly. Not just throw them to the wind and let, uh, let them put a fork in a light socket. No, that's horrible. And that's horrible way of parroting. Anyway, I'm your Prog Thinking Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.